Well, half done or so, we're getting there. We get this trailer empty, and I'm gonna rush over to Shakopee, which is southwest Minneapolis. I was the third truck in today. So the other two guys are already unloaded and gone. Yeah. We'll be out of here soon. Breakfast pizza. God bless America. It's actually one of my favorite, favorite delicacies of the American sort. I'm sure we have them in Canada too. We do, we share pretty much everything. A culture, food. They just make them bigger and better here breakfast on a pizza or would that be Italian no 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 this would be an American Italian an Americanized Italian dish American. I don't know I love the food down in America uh, it's so much I shouldn't say it's so cheap but it's a lot cheaper than at home it's the same stuff we got but bigger portions for less money and they got breakfast on a pizza so I'm gonna head down to Minneapolis now anyway we're gonna grab that load I gotta get home tonight because tomorrow morning I've got to watch our son while Britt uh, my wife goes and gets uh, uh, some blood work done it's an appointment for our next IVF procedure so she's got to leave the house early in the morning so I've got to get home tonight or at least close to home and then get there in the morning to watch him so she can go and uh, get that appointment done and then tomorrow afternoon I'm gonna grab this load again and go deliver it into the city and then old blue has to go into the shop get a little bit of maintenance done and then i go home and that's all i know that's the plan so plan for the plan to change right so don't it's not etched in stone just yet it's sort of written on paper with erasable pencil we'll see what happens let's go get our freight Cloud 
and then uh, hoping to get home before midnight. To make US 169 South. 169 South. I know, I know, I'm paying attention. You don't need to ding me. and there's nobody here. Uh, there's a lineup for the pumps out onto the street here. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. They got the cheapest juice again. I don't know. I still don't know why they have so much cheaper fuel. It's $3.06 per gallon here. at your destination on the left side pilot travel center yes i see that Let's see if i can sneak in there come on buddy hurry up hurry up hurry up hurry up hurry up yeah the next nearest price to this nearby is the speedway but four miles away that's at three dollars and 17 cents it's 11 cents cheaper here must be because of local taxes or something, right? They've got to be getting their fuel from the same place. Or something. Right? It's always like this. I'm not complaining. I mean, I'm just... I just like to understand the world. saying 11 cents more expensive at the next cheapest one on my route but every other one like you got ta down the road at 326 you got casey's at 324 you got quick trip at 334 there's even a uh, olson's truck stop 345 quick trip four miles from here is 349 a gallon this pilot 306 just like woo all over the place all within 25 miles of here we got my load of shingles and we were in and out of there in an hour from the time I got to the gate to the time I rolled out one hour and five minutes so that was about the fastest I've ever gotten out of there which is fantastic you can't, can't get much faster than that now as soon as we fuel here this is my last stop before we get home, besides, you know, regular bathrooms, maybe a coffee, I don't know. Uh, we're in St. Cloud, Minnesota, so that leaves us another five, five and a half hours to the border with Canada, crossing from Pemba, North Dakota into Emerson, Manitoba. And then about another hour and 15 minutes up to our yard where I'm gonna leave my trailer. Uh, this load has to be delivered tomorrow afternoon into Winnipeg, and I'm going home for tonight. I'm, I'm trying to get home at a decent time yet. It'll probably be after my son goes to bed. Uh, before my wife goes to bed, but after my son goes to bed. I'm trying to get home in that gap without waking up my son. Because uh, the dogs might go crazy, so we'll have to coordinate with my wife if the dogs are outside. It's always a, a, a like a spectacle when I get home because the dogs just go crazy. I love that, right? They're excited to see me. I'm excited to see them. Uh, but we got to make sure that uh, we don't wake up the baby. <laughs> And then tomorrow morning, she has an appointment for IVF. I'm gonna watch Theo. And when she gets back, I go and uh, get to my delivery appointment. So it's kind of juggling. Juggle everything to make sure everything works and everything gets done. And then once this load is delivered, I just go back home. Old Blue's gotta go to the shop, like to the, the mechanic shop, get a little bit of maintenance done, like I was telling you, but other than that, I'm on time off for uh, a couple of days. Meters, turn right on, 43rd Street South and then turn left at 180 meters. 
675 gallons, 662 liters. Here's a big one, a bigger one. I grabbed myself some of the Brazilian bean to cup coffee. It's a limited time offer at, at Flying J's. Have you guys seen that yet? My friend Moses tipped me off on it. He said he tried it today. It was really good. Turn left on the Great River Road, CR7 again. Take the entrance to the right in 290 meters. Yeah, I'm going to give it a shot. I'm gonna give it a shot. See what it's all about. I hadn't even seen it there yet until he mentioned it. I am somewhat of a coffee enthusiast. I usually drink Columbia coffee, like or Colombian. Seems to be the most widespread and most popular around here anyway. Never had Brazilian coffee. Most of it was all just 
fields. Now there's just thousands of people out there, all brand new developments. One kilometer, keep to the right on I-29 North US 81 North. I've actually delivered a lot of the, or some of the materials for the building projects that have been going on there. A lot of that lumber has come out of Canada. In 500 meters, keep to the right on I-29 North US 81 North. I suppose, I suppose I could stick with the plan. Take the I-29, Karen. Thank you. Oh, Mr. Cavalier. Mr. Super Cool Cavalier is gonna lead the way. Look at that spoiler. Good thing he's got that thing on there. Gotta keep that high-powered machine on the ground, you know what I'm saying? I had a Cavalier like that when I was 16. It's, I mean, man, I was cool. Said no one around me. But I thought, I thought I was cool. a little bit yet so that it's on the concrete pad which is under all that water there I'm just gonna leave it here because uh, this has to be delivered tomorrow afternoon so in the meantime I'm gonna go home for the night and sleep in my own bed I'm gonna take my tarps home tonight I won't need them tomorrow I don't want to leave them here they go where I go heavy now because they're full of water. <sighs> These tarps always come with me. Everywhere. Even if I'm just going home. I'll take them off the truck tomorrow in my shop. <sighs> and they can stay there where they're safe. Everything is so dirty, so messy. Laundry all the time. Oh, come on. Stick together. Come on. Oh. Nothing's ever easy. There you go. There. 
Don't do that to me. Okay. 